Hello, Internet, and welcome to my review for Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, episode 79. Um, when we last left off, everyone kind of took stock of where they were in this arc, uh, as Mitsuki, Sekie, and Kokuyo continue their journey to the land of Earth. Uh, the, Bor the Mitsuki Retrieval Squad continued to travel after Mitsuki to the land of Earth. Um, Naruto and Shikamaru figured out that Mitsuki was headed to the Land of Earth. There was a lot of Land of Earth stuff going on last week, um, but it ended up with, uh, the Mitsuki Retrieval Squad, Sans, uh, Inojin, and Chocho, who had tr started to travel home. They don't stay at home for long this week. Uh, but they started to travel home, uh, leaving, uh, the rest of the squad to fight, to stare down Kokuyo, and that's where we leave into this episode. Uh, we pick up right where we left off. No flashbacks, no recaps, no getting sidetracked in other scenes. Everything this week is just the Mitsuki Retrieval Squad and Kokuyo and Seki A, and then later Mitsuki. Um, which is it, it's very like it's a very focused episode. Is kind of the kind of the recurring theme. Um, and the first thing I noticed, I don't, I don't have a lot of notes on this episode, but both because I'm not great at taking notes on just fight scenes, which is what most of this episode was, um, and also, I don't know, I'm just in a bit of a state right now. Midterm season is not fun. Uh, that's really my biggest complaint right now. Um, but my first note is that Kokio eventually, as, as the fight goes on, reveals that, um, that he cannot use ninjutsu. And that's why he tries to become stronger, so that he's, you know, um, to surpass the humans that can use ninjutsu. He, the artificial being, is just as strong as can be. And he almost seems to be, like, the dark side of Rock Lee um, because of that, which would be interesting if they had any plans to use Lee or Metal in this arc. But it doesn't seem like they are unless... Uh, episode 70 was like, uh, hey guys, don't forget about the Lees, and then he'll come in to fight Kokuyo at the end. Who knows? That'll be funny, though. Uh, I don't think it'll happen, though. Um, anyway, as the fight goes on, um, Boruto gets a Gale Palm in on Kokuyo and sends him flying, and just yells at Sarada, who instantly knows what to do, and slams the Akuda flying into Kokuyo, to create a dust cloud enough, a dust cloud big enough to like distract them while Shikadai gets a shadow paralysis on the Akuda, allowing Boruto to destroy it. And I love that Boruto and Sarada don't even need to discuss a word of this. They just like instantly know what the other one's thinking. It's, it's great. Uh, so they kill the Akuda. Uh, so it's just down to Kokuyo. Uh, and it looks like he's got Sarada on the ropes before she is saved by my daughter. Chocho, Akimichi, saving the day. I love her. I love her. Y'all know I love her so much. Uh, she deserves better than that fucking arc she got last few months ago. Um, she deserves so much better than that. Be ah, deserves so much better than that arc. Uh, yeah. And after that, Shigurai tells Boruto and Sarada to go, and then Inoshika Cho will handle uh, Kokuyo. Um, just because, like... They need to get to Mitsuki before he crosses into the land of Earth. Um, and so they head out. Um, we get a little bit... I don't have... I actually, I'm looking at my notes. I don't have any more notes on Inoshika Cho versus Kokuyo. So let's go over that he, uh, here real fast. Um, they, it doesn't go well. Kokuyo whoops their ass and they run away. Um, we They don't meet up with Boruto and Sarada at the end of the episode. They're still flying away by the time this week ends. Um, so yeah, then we cut to Boruto and Sarada run into Sekie, uh, who has heard that Boruto and Sarada have escaped Kokuyo. Uh, so he goes to fight them, leaves Mitsuki with a couple of Akuda. Um, and so the lead-in to, to the Boruto and Sarada versus Sekie kind of drags. You know, it's several minutes of Boruto and Sarada kind of figuring out what we already knew. Uh, that Seiki is an artificial human, that he uses exploding clay. It's a good long segment that really doesn't do all that much. And, you know, I get that, like, Boruto and Sarada didn't know that we know. But we do know, and so it's just kind of... It's like four minutes or so, ain't it? Of, like, just kind of dead space. Uh, I don't know, that part just didn't really work for me. 
Um, what did work, though, is the fight goes on for a little while, uh, and then Bor the, the shot right after Boruto summons Garaga of him, like, standing atop Garaga, illuminated by the moonlight, it's super cool. Even if Garaga just kind of, like, nopes himself out of the fight for a little while, you know, Boruto's like, Garaga, get this guy. And Garaga's like, ah, how about no? Ain't doing that one. Uh, that worked. That was pretty funny. Um, I actually do have a note about, um, the Kokyo Inushika Cho fight. That's my bad. I missed, I did completely missed that. Uh, and it's just that it's pretty, like, it's about the full-on retreat that they use, uh, that Inushika Cho uses. They just kind of, like, fucking leave. Uh, and it's, it's pretty rare. We just kind of see that, like, full-on retreat used in shonen anime. You know, occasionally we'll have, like, what we see at the end of this episode, where Boruto is so beaten that Kokyo is like, it ain't even worth it to kill ya and leaves. That's a fairly common thing. Or, like, the villain assumes the hero is dead and leaves. It's rare, I feel, that the hero leaves. Um, so that's just kind of an interesting thing. Um, and so as the fight with Sekie goes on, uh, Boruto's in a bit of a rough state because he's not really standing a chance against uh, Sekie. And um, so Garaga is like, hey, I'll help out if you become my underling. And I think it's been a while, it's been many, many years since I last really interacted with this material at all, which is a shame because it's one of Naruto's best fights. But I think this is the same kind of language that Gamabunta used before he'd helped Naruto in the fight with Gara, way back at Konoha Crush, on uh, like episode 70, around this point in that series, actually. Uh, there's an interesting little tidbit. Um, but anyway, Garga, uh, over oh, right. Sekiei tells Garga to, like, get the fuck out of there, and Gar, that's where Garga finally gets mad, and he starts to attack Sekiei. Um, and around that time, Sekiei just, like, runs out of energy and collapses, I think? Some, probably something to do with his status as an artificial human, probably? I don't know. Uh, anyway, Boruto goes in to do the final, like, blow against, um against uh, Sekie before Mitsuki shows up and protects Sekie, um, which I did get spoiled for me. It might be why this episode did not really work as well, because I, I feel like a lot of this episode kind of rests on that shock of uh, Mitsuki betraying Boruto and sending him flying. And having that spoiled, like, yesterday, uh, I kind of, like, already knew it going in, and so it didn't quite work as well as maybe it would have if I had gone in blind... Uh, which is all on me. This is all, most of my problems with the episode, I feel like, are all on me. Besides that one bit with Boruto and Sarada versus, uh, Sekie. Or, uh, before the fight starts, I mean. Uh, and then, so, um, Mizuki does, you know, going with them is my will, which kind of turns Boruto's thoughts about the message from the snake on its head, uh, from the beginning of the arc. Uh, and Kokyo just kind of buys it. And this is, this is before, um... Mitsuki uses the snake lightning on Boruto that would kind of, like, seal the deal for most people. Um, but Kokyo's like, yeah, I believe you. All right, let's go. Um, which is kind of weird. Uh, that's where the episode ends. Um, Boruto, you know, like, no, don't go, Mitsuki. Closes his eyes, passes out, we cut, cut to the end credits. Uh, a real, real nitpick here. Feel free to roast me for, like, the nitpickingest I've ever been. But I feel like that scene would have been a lot better if, the way it goes, Boruto, like, closes his eyes and at, before it even, like, cuts to black, it doesn't, it doesn't cut to black, it cuts to the end credits. And I feel like even just a second or two of black after Boruto, like, right before, like, you know, Boruto, like, no, don't go, and then, like, you passes out, and we have, like, a second or two of just black, and then we cut to the end credits would have made that scene a lot more impactful, I feel, which is really, really nitpicky, I know, but I feel like that would have worked from, like, an editing, from, like, just from, like, an editing standpoint, I don't know, I feel like we don't really s feel Boruto be knocked out from that, which we would have if there had been just a second or two of, like, nothing. 
Um, but yeah, that's really all I have for this episode, except for the next time preview, which does leave a lot to chew on. Um, Mitsuki refers to uh, Boruto being his son, which is, of course, his perennial way of describing Boruto, in the past tense. Your Boruto was my son, he says. And he mentions that his feelings might have been created, uh, which he has actually brought up a couple times in the arc. But to me, it leaves me a tad nervous because it reminds me of Fulminant Alchemist's one big misstep with, with uh, Alphonse's whole am I a real boy crisis after Lab 5, which is like the stupidest thing that show did. And honestly, the only stupid thing that show did. FMA is a masterpiece. But God, that's a stupid plotline. Um, so hopefully it's not as bad as that. And Mitsuki, Mitsuki's fears are a lot more founded than Al's were um, in FMA. Um... So, you know, it's just, it just already kind of like leaves me with like a bad reference point. Uh, but yeah, all in all, this was a good enough episode in theory, I feel, that for whatever reason just did not connect with me, um, which is really sad to say. Maybe because I watched it kind of late at night and I was, I've had a long day and a long weekend and a long week. Uh, you know, I'm just tired. It's midterm season up here and I spent the past few days stressing about a midterm in the morning that I'm just not ready for. Uh, and something about this episode just kind of fell flat as a result of that. Uh, and I don't, I'm, I'm not going to criticize. I don't think it's a problem with the episode. Again, I think it's just... I don't even know what my issue is. It just didn't really click with me. Uh, which is really sad. Because, um, you know, I love Boruto. I've loved Boruto... Since it started, since the manga started, I've been defending Boruto since then. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say for this week's episode. Not a whole lot, because again, I'm kind of tired and midterms and shit. Shit, man, shit. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the episode more than I did uh, and the video. If you did, feel free to drop me a like, subscribe, or do whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, keep kicking ass, and I'll see you in the future. Bye!